I need eyes sharp as Artemis's arrows and stances as sturdy as Atlas himself. We cannot underestimate Hades or Cerberus. They're crafty, and they're coming. We won't let anything through, my lord. Not even a shadow. Unless it's a shadow with an invitation, right? Stay alert. This isn't the time for shadow puppets. Aphrodite, my dear, these are turbulent times. I'd have you stay within the confines of Olympus until this storm passes. Dad, I'm the goddess of love. What am I going to do charm Cerberus into submission? Just a precaution. Even love takes a back seat when war dogs and underworld gods are at our doorstep. Fine, I'll stay put. But only if you promise to knock some divine sense into Hades when you see him. Maybe I'll just send Hades a love letter. Dear Uncle H, please stop being a menace. XOXO, Aphrodite. Canceled plans, really. Like, I can't handle a little underworld drama. Hey, Afro, we're setting up for the party. You're still coming, right? That's the plan, but Zeus is on high alert. He wants me locked up in here like I'm some damsel in distress. That's just typical. But hey, you're Aphrodite. Since when does a goddess let a little thing like divine order stop her? You're right. I've got more than a few tricks up my sleeve. Or should I say, in my girdle? Let's just say those guards won't know what hit them. Give me a bit and I'll meet you outside the gates. You're the best. Just be careful, okay? I don't want Zeus's thunderbolt aimed at my party because of us. Worry not, my dear. A little charm goes a long way. See you soon. We won't let anything through, my lord. Not even a shadow. My apologies, Lady Aphrodite. But we're under strict orders from Zeus himself. No one is to leave Olympus, especially not you. It's for your safety, goddess. We mustn't allow any risks during these uncertain times. Oh, I wouldn't dream of causing any trouble. But surely a goddess can enjoy a little fresh air outside these walls. Now, you won't remember stopping me, and you certainly won't mention this to Zeus. You just saw me strolling around the gardens, understood? Strolling around the gardens, yes, Lady Aphrodite. Nothing to report, just a lovely day in Olympus. That was impressive. Let's hit the road before Zeus sends a search party. Aphrodite. We didn't expect to see a goddess here tonight. This party just hit legendary status. Yeah, if Zeus finds out we partied with his daughter, I hope he'll spare us the lightning bolts. Don't worry guys, tonight is all about fun, not divine retribution. Let's just enjoy the moment. You should have seen us sneaking past the Olympus guards. It was like something out of an epic tale. Speaking of epic tales, I'm about to embark on a quest for some legendary snacks. Miles, you in? Absolutely. Gotta fuel up for the dance floor. You ladies want anything? It's okay, guys. We'll catch you later. This is exactly what I needed. A night away from divine duties and looming threats. Just friends, music, and a little bit of earthly fun. To freedom, friendship, and unforgettable nights. Hope, can I tell you something? It's a bit, well, personal. Of course, Afro. You know you can tell me anything. It's about Miles. I think I have a crush on him. It's so strange. I'm the goddess of love, yet here I am, all flustered and unsure. 
Aphrodite. That's actually kind of adorable. And hey, even goddesses can have crushes. So what do you want to do about it? I don't know. I mean, can you maybe talk to him? Just get a sense of how he feels, but without revealing too much. Consider it done. I'll chat with Miles and see where he stands. No pressure, no divine interventions, just a little friendly reconnaissance. Thank you, Hope. I don't know what I'd do without you. Who would have thought? Aphrodite needing a wing woman. But don't worry, I've got your back. Guardians of Olympus has my daughter Aphrodite pass this way. It's crucial that I find her immediately. Lord Zeus, no one has left Olympus under our watch, especially not Lady Aphrodite. Indeed, my lord. The goddess has not ventured beyond these walls, at least not through here. If she's not here, then where? Hades' move could be imminent, and her safety is paramount. Stay vigilant. If you see anything, anything at all that might indicate her whereabouts, alert me immediately. We'll keep our eyes open, Lord Zeus. Olympus is secure. Of course, my lord. Your daughter's safety is our utmost priority. Aphrodite, my child, wherever you are, I will find you. No corner of this world or the next can hide you from my sight. Aphrodite, don't cause too much trouble, okay? We mortals can only handle so much divine excitement in one night. And you, sir, make sure our goddess here doesn't miss the divine curfew. Olympus Uber rates are astronomical. So, um, did you enjoy the party? It's not every day we get to hang with deities. I did, but there's something more important I wanted to talk about. Miles, I've developed feelings for you. I really like you and was hoping maybe we could explore that. Aphrodite, that's... Wow, I'm flattered truly, but I have to be honest with you. I'm with Gwen and it wouldn't be right to pursue anything. I hope you understand. Maybe you could see things from my perspective, just for a little while. Aphrodite, I... What just happened? I'm sorry, Miles. I shouldn't have done that. It's just hard to accept when feelings aren't reciprocated. Aphrodite, what have you done? To bewitch a mortal in such a manner is beneath you, my daughter. Father, I... I was just... And you, mortal, to find you in such a compromising position with my daughter. Have you no respect for the divine? Lord Zeus, I... I didn't know. Hear me well, mortal. Stay away from Aphrodite. Should you cross paths with her again under such circumstances, my wrath will be the least of your concerns. It wasn't my intention to... My child, we will discuss your actions in due time. For now, let us return to Olympus. There are matters we need to address. Aphrodite, do you comprehend the gravity of your actions? Your powers, while a gift, bear a weight that demands responsibility. I know, Father, but it's not easy. I'm the goddess of love, yet I'm bound by so many rules, so many expectations. Your divinity does not exempt you from the consequences of your actions. To manipulate love, to bend the will of another, it's a breach of their fundamental freedom, an act unbecoming of your noble role. I... I didn't see it that way. I was selfish, blinded by my own feelings. We are gods, yes. But we are also guardians of order, of the delicate balance that sustains the cosmos. Our powers are not for personal vendettas or fleeting desires. Learn from this, Aphrodite. 
Let your heart lead, but never at the expense of another's will. So there I was, just talking to Aphrodite, when suddenly, boom, Zeus himself shows up, lightning and all, furious like you wouldn't believe. Wait, back up. Zeus? As in, the Zeus? What was he doing there? He was there for Aphrodite. Turns out she put some kind of love spell on me. One minute I'm talking to her, the next I'm caught in this trance, completely enamored. That's intense. Are you okay now? I mean, being enchanted by a goddess has to be overwhelming. I'm alright, thanks to Zeus, I guess. He broke the spell, but not before giving me a warning I won't soon forget told me to stay away from his daughter. Man, dating on this island is tough enough without divine drama. Remind me to steer clear of Olympus. This is going to change things, isn't it? I mean, if the gods are getting this involved in our lives. Yeah, it feels like we're just getting a glimpse of what's to come. All right, brother, here's the challenge. Sneak in there and grab the golden Cerberus statue. Simple for the god of the sea, right? You think it's that easy, huh? You're on. But when I come out with that statue, you owe me a year's supply of fish sticks. Easy does it, Poseidon. Don't wait the... Oh, great. That's not going to buff out. Nice doggies. Uh, I'm more of a cat person, actually. Whoa. Okay, this was a bad idea. The statue was, uh, already broken when I got there. Sure, brother. Let's just call it a draw. And then he just slipped and slid all over the place. Poseidon, the god of the sea, and everyone. More like the god of wet floors. Perhaps we should assign you to janitorial duties, Poseidon. Clearly you have a knack for mopping up. Don't be too harsh, Artemis. He did manage to unleash a pack of wolves instead of stealing a statue. That's got to count for something, right? At least I didn't. Didn't what? Manage to bring back a single statue? Oh wait, you did bring back something. A great story for us to laugh about. Laugh now, gods, but the tides may turn sooner than you think. feel like no matter what you do, it's just never enough? All the time, my man. But hey, that's life, right? We keep brewing. It's just my brothers, you know. Zeus with his thunderbolts, Hades with his underworld shenanigans. And there I am, making waves and mopping floors, apparently. Well, to me, you're the god who brought the sea into this little shop. That's pretty epic. To making waves, no matter how small. To the unsung heroes and the epic tales yet to be told. Besides, who needs to steal statues when you've got the whole ocean at your beck and call? You're right. Let Zeus have his lightning. I've got some tides to turn. Poseidon, your escapades have been the subject of much amusement, but it's time to turn the tide. Midas has returned, 
and his yacht looms too close to our realm for comfort. I'll handle it, Zeus. Consider it an opportunity to wash away past mishaps. Indeed. Well, this is your chance. Prove that the depth of your resolve matches the depth of your seas. Don't underestimate Midas, Poseidon. His touch is not the only trick up his sleeve. Thank you, Artemis. I'll navigate these waters carefully. Let's hope he understands the gravity of this tide. Our amusement aside, Poseidon's success is vital. I'll show my brother that I'm not to be messed with. Time to take out the bad guys. Ah, Poseidon, god of the seas. What an honor. Here to join the festivities? I, uh, I came here on official business, Midas. But it seems I've misjudged the situation. Nonsense, my divine friend. Today we celebrate. Battles can wait. Now, how about a drink? I insist. Never thought I'd see a god at one of our shindigs. Cheers, Poseidon. To unexpected friendships and the joys of a boat day. Poseidon, this is how you execute a mission, fraternizing with our adversaries, indulging in mortal pleasures while duty calls. Zeus, it wasn't like that. I was assessing the situation, gaining their trust to... Gaining their trust or forgetting your responsibilities. You were tasked with taking down Midas, not having a boat party. Brother, I realize I lost sight of the mission. But I've learned something valuable today. Something that might be crucial in understanding our enemies. Learnings are valuable, yes. But they should not come at the cost of our objectives, our brotherhood, our pantheon. It relies on each of us fulfilling our roles. I will make this right, Zeus. I'll prove to you and to all of Olympus that my dedication is unwavering. See that you do, Poseidon. Our future might well depend on it. Here's your chance to redeem yourself, brother. Stand with me and let's show Ares the true strength of our unity. I won't let you down this time, Zeus. Let's bring some justice to this dark place. threaten the balance we strive to maintain. Well fought, brother. Today you've proven your worth and more. I fear my human form is no match for the might of Ares. Poseidon, you've shown your mettle in battle, yet I sense there's more to unlock within you. This realm, this waterfall, holds the key to unleashing a deeper power. What do you mean, Zeus? What are you proposing? 
To protect our domain, to face the challenges ahead, you must evolve, become more than you are. This waterfall, it's a, it's a crucible of transformation. You don't have to do this, Zeus. This is the beginning of a new chapter. With this transformation, you're not just a god of the sea, but a true protector of our realm. This, this is incredible. I can feel the currents, the tides, the very essence of the sea within me. Your form now reflects your true nature, Poseidon. You're not just a god among us. You are the embodiment of the seas themselves. With these powers, I vow to defend our realm, to be the guardian the world needs. Thank you, Zeus, for believing in me, for guiding me through this transformation. So, the sea god returns. What tricks have you brought this time, Poseidon? No tricks, Ares. Just the unleashed fury of the ocean itself. Let this be a lesson, Ares. Never underestimate the depths of one's resolve. Hey guys, it's Peely here. Just wanted to say thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it, and make sure you update your creator code and use code FORTNITE SEASONS when you're buying those new items in the store. See you soon for another awesome video!